Our lad, comrade. Hey, everybody. For anyone that follows me on Twitter, or is in my Discord, or the other Discords that I sometimes post self promo stuff in, um, you'll know that I took a mental health break from uploading episodes. And during that time, I did some mining. Because it was just something relaxing to do on here. No project tied to it. Wanted to show off the haul from the time I spent mining during that break. Pretty decent. It's been a while. It's good to see you. How have you been? Since my last episode, I've gone through a bout of depression and fought off COVID-19. It's been a wild ride. As a result, this episode contains clips recorded as early as October 25th and as recently as a few days ago. Bear with me as I try to get you caught up on the happenings during that time. I took all of the wood that I collected while clearing out that forest over by Rosino's house and stuffed it right in this charcoal machine, because I'm crazy. Clearly. I don't remember when I last showed the contents of these chests. The excess materials I've collected while mining. It's been a while, anyway. Here's the quartz. Uh, this is everything that wouldn't fit in the shulker box I have in my ender chest. Which is here. It's a fair... No, that's not it. Oh yeah, I moved it into a separate shulker now. On its own. Anyway, lots of it. Um, then there's the lapis and redstone, which is a little bit ridiculous. I mean, this is ridiculous too, but... Yeah, anyway. And then coal is insane. I have no idea what I might ever use this for. Can maybe exploit a villager for trades or something. Sell some to Rosino, maybe. He bought some before, maybe he'd want more. I know he's not going to want all of this, though, because it's... There's a lot. Well, anyway. We interrupt this broadcast for a breaking news bulletin. Yo, brother! Behold the flag of communist packet grave! Because you are the sole inheritor of this land, this land is now my land. And your land is my land because that's how the song goes. <laughs> you know Johnny Cash. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I don't think he was a communist, though. He might have been a communist. You do not know. Because he's dead. Okay. Just like... Just like, uh, that bush over there in the desert. It's dead. Mm hmm So, this is now my land. Get off my land or I will have to use force. Our lad, comrade. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, chief. You're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Hey, everybody back on the server again. It's been a little over two weeks since I last recorded any content. I've been over here at the swamp off and on, uh, plugging away, putting some more glass down, and I'm, I'll am i make a more in-depth update about that later. Uh, but the server just got updated from 1.16.1 to 1.16.4, and there's a little bit of a revival going on. We've got four people online right now, which they're the usual suspects, but uh, Zilmi and Stup have also been recruiting a little bit. Uh, we have a post up on the Minecraft forums, which I keep forgetting to upvote. I'm going to go do that like the moment I stop recording this clip. Uh, so yeah, we're back at it. Um, I'm going to keep plugging away here. Most everything's working. Uh, textures missing on my shield here but uh faithful's installed the resource uh not the resource pack the shader pack is working just fine i ran that for a little while um all the other mods here are installed and working uh so we're good to go uh yeah i don't know what else to say I'll, i'm sure there'll be something else for this video something i'm working on we'll uh we'll, yeah we're just gonna see what happens and now shenanigans I called you, uh, you taking on the role on this server as the damsel in distress. 
Can you give me an arrow? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, that's just rude. Give me that armor back. I'm not rescuing you anymore. That's my armor. Put it this in the ender my... chest. Put it in the ender chest. No. Do you want number 62? <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Would I? <laughs> Sir, this is illegal. <laughs> Hello again. So I've decided to switch gears a little, and uh, I found a design for a iron farm that is fairly simple to make. It only takes five villagers and doesn't require a zombie moving around in a cart or anything like that. It's a design by... Let me see. Should have remembered. I just clicked on the video a little bit ago. Oh, Il Mango. Yeah, so it's designed by Il Mango. Um, it's designed to be used in peaceful mode, but I already have a pretty decent supply of iron. I just need to kind of like keep up with it. So... I figured what better spot to put it than right next to the ice farm um, so they could both be running at the same time. Um, I moved the chests that were previously over here um, for ice over here so that I can build it in this general area. I don't know exactly where it has to go yet because I just have to make sure that there's no spawnable blocks for the iron golems within a certain range of the beds. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna figure that out and, uh, probably throw together a short time lapse of me building that. So I got that thrown together here. It's a fairly simple design, but it will supplement my iron to keep that in good supply. Uh, I just need to add some water in all four corners here and uh, pop a couple villagers up on these beds, along with a couple stack of carrots or find five villagers, but I don't want to get five villagers, two villagers and breeding sounds like a better idea to me. Um, so I'll take care of that and be back here with an update. I have now retrieved two villagers from the nearby village. Aww. And this one I'm hoping will lose its profession once I've had it Aww. out of the boat slash minecart long Aww. enough. We'll see. I wasn't going to go get another one. Aww. But uh, yeah, i got to get him up there now. Aww. I got the villagers up in their little uh, area here and gave them some Aww. carrots. And they already uh, gave me one little baby villager, so farm should theoretically be working uh it just won't be at max efficiency yet i'm probably gonna put a zombie up in here somewhere too at some point to increase its efficiency because this design was meant to work in peaceful mode um but obviously I, we're not in peaceful mode so i can make it a little bit more efficient and i will try my hardest to put a link to the original design down in the description I left the iron farm and the ice farm running overnight, and the iron farm produced a little over 25 stacks of ingots, which means it's a lot more efficient than I thought it would be. I suspect this may be due to zombies spawning underneath the villagers and causing them to panic and spawn more golems. So I may just put a zombie somewhere in a little enclosure so it'll be permanent to make this farm as efficient as possible. I'm also going to set up a sorter of some kind to 
get rid of the flowers and turn them into bone meal with a composter and put the iron in a separate spot. I have now set up an item sorter and I've put all of the poppies back into the system and hooked it up to a composter. So now the iron will flow into this chest automatically and then the poppies, which I have no use for this insane number of poppies, will feed into this composter, which then slowly turns them into bone meal, which is useful for, you know, other things, which arguably much more useful than poppies. But yeah, that's uh, at least getting something out of it rather than poppies. Thanks to the village, and by village I mean iron farm, I now have some cats. Um, I didn't even realize this was a mechanic until it started happening, but when they made changes to cats a few versions back, apparently, um, villages now spawn them. I decided I want to make a small change to this ice farm here, and that'll be just adding some wood slabs on top of the uppermost layer of ice. Mostly, well, yeah, just mostly so that mobs don't spawn on top of here. <laughs> um... I've seen some spiders up here, and I think they are they must be spawning up here. I mean, maybe they're climbing. It's hard to say for sure, but if I, I'm going to put those slabs down and see if it makes a difference. And I want them to be wooden so that they're not easy to break with a pickaxe. Creepers are the worst. Thanks for watching. Sadly, this will be my last episode again for a while. My appointments out of town got moved around, and I'll now be leaving next week. I'll be at least somewhat active on the server while I'm gone, but recording is unlikely. Stay tuned to my Twitter or Discord to find out when that next episode goes live. Until next time, MZ.